Welcome to this episode of Glasscast, the official podcast of Glass Magazine and the National Glass Association. I'm Katie Devlin, the content director of the National Glass Association and the editor-in-chief of Glass Magazine. I am delighted to be joined on our episode today with uh, Christina Alaya of The Shower Door Guy in Norcross, Georgia, and Shannon McKinney of DT Glass in Oregon. And we are recording at Glass Build 2024 in Dallas. We've got a studio right on the show floor. Uh, so before we get started with the with our interview, I just want to thank our sponsors who made this uh, podcast studio possible. First, uh, the studio enclosure features glass and systems from Old Castle Building Envelope. Uh, and our other studio sponsors are North American Specialty Laminators, Shot, and Becca. So, uh, Christina and Shannon, uh, Shannon, we can start with you. Um, why don't you both uh, introduce yourselves, uh, talk about your history in the industry, and uh, yeah, your companies. So, my name is Shannon McKinney, and we're in Oregon City, Oregon, a suburb of Portland. And we bought our business in 2010, and then we started fabricating our own glass in 2017. We just primarily do shower doors. We'll do some wine rooms, back painted glass, things like that. But we really focus on that high end building materials. And we love just fabricating for ourselves, kind of controlling the process. And that's been something really fun for us and really useful. And we've had so much great assistance in everything that we do because we had to figure it all out on our own mm -hmm. well not really on our own mm -hmm. with help from everyone that we've met in the industry and um, i'm christina alaya from the shower door guy and my dad started this business out of the garage in 2011. Um, after the 08 recession he he had to figure something out he was in specialties with a company called climart um, we're in norcross georgia so a suburb of atlanta and um I started with him in 2020, just before COVID swept the East Coast. And um, he was still in the garage with just a couple other guys. And then the business just exploded. I mean, we tripled in size and we had to do something and we needed help. And I had no idea what I was doing. He brought me on to implement some some technology. And um, we, we did that and I just never left. And it's been so much fun and now we're 10 people and a lot bigger and we have a lot of friends and a lot of support so it's just been we don't fabricate but it's just been so much fun to do and be in this industry so so you you started when everybody was stuck at home realizing that mm -hmm. they needed a new bathroom yes <laughs> uh-huh wow uh, and we were also mired in supply chain issues and logistical challenges plus a global pandemic um what a time to come in. <laughs> it was. I, I'm just glad that, I mean, we thought when it first started, we actually thought that we were going to have to close the business because we weren't sure if we were considered essential workers. We weren't sure how our state would react to the pandemic. It was very uh, locally driven and, and uh, we were just thankful that there was work and then there was so much work. And then there was, we couldn't even get brush nickel hinges and we were like, what are we going to do? So, I mean, we're, we got through it and now we're here and I learned a lot and it's been great. Wow, that's that's amazing. An amazing launch point for sure for a career in glass. Yeah. Um, so at the show, um, you know, you all have been, you you uh, spoke briefly yesterday at the Glazing Executives Forum. Uh, you kind of worked, uh, were involved in the workshop there um, talking about the new Shower Door Professionals Co-op. And I wonder if you, you both could uh, tell me a little bit about how this project came to be, what it is, um, you know, what your membership looks like. Sure. Do you want to you need to start. Okay, yeah, I'll start. I started with you and oh, goodness. Well, Shannon, I'll start. Shannon will fill in the blanks. Um, but we there's a page on Facebook called the Shower Door Professionals, and there are more than 4000 members on that Facebook page. And people post left and right, asking questions, asking for feedback, posting projects they're very proud of, asking for pictures. You know, we all just collaborate. And it's a really lovely environment that Chris Phillips started. Um, he is GCS Glass um, and he couldn't be here this week, but we love him dearly and this wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be here without him. So thank you, Chris. Um, and 
essentially the co-op kind of started, uh, we were all thinking about, talking about how we're competing with big box stores a lot. A lot of people don't know that shower door professionals exist. Um, and when I tell my friends that I work in glass, they're like, what does that even mean? You know, what a, that we do shower doors. They're like, there are people who just do shower doors. And it's, you know, yeah, there are. Um, and, and a lot of us, it mm -hmm. turns out. And uh, there aren't, the NGA exists and is so wonderful and has so many great resources, but there aren't a ton of resources when you compare our industry to uh, electrical or HVAC or plumbing or things like that. Nobody can go to school for this really. There's just not that kind of training. And so we really want to collaborate with the NGA and with other professionals in the industry and just combine our wealth of knowledge to create these resources for people and create the demand for the industry so that people don't feel like they have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or a big box store to uh, to get a kit, DIY install, maybe have a glass break on them. I know we've all seen TikTok or Instagram videos of glass breaking and people are so scared of it. But when it's installed by a professional, that is so incredibly rare that anything like that happens. And so we wanna make sure that things are done safely um, for, for people who are doing a remodel or building a home or multifamily, whatever the case. You want to fill in the yeah. blanks? Well, so the beginning was how we can do outreach to homeowners. But of course, it started with this Facebook group that has been so beneficial to all of us. You can take any subject that you have and say, what do you guys think? I'm buying a new van. What do you guys use? Uh, what, how do you drill? Um, what are, what's your favorite bits? And who's had this situation? Can someone send me a picture of this? And so just having each other is so wonderful because without meeting up with other people in your industry it can feel like you're on an island and you're you're figuring everything out for the first time even though hundreds of other people have already figured it out for the first time. So being able to reach out to each other was great at the Facebook level. This really takes it. We have one of our one of our co-op members said, you know, I feel like every week on our call, I'm going to college. And, I, and we said, well, you know what? That's junior college. We're going to step this up to the university level. So we really want to create those resources and have have um, an even tighter connection. So it may be business owner to business owner with a deep dive on how are you guys, you know, doing outreach in your community when it comes to um, advertising. Sure. Any subject, because there's so much, so much information, so many resources just right there within our group. And it's so exciting to pull that together to be lucky enough to say, you know, let's make this happen. And we had a great intro event last night. We had, we had a launch party that yeah. I thought was a phenomenal success. Everyone who was there, thank you. We love you. <laughs> it's like 70 or 80 people came out just oh, curious wow. about the event. And it was sponsored by 310 Tempering, who is just like, so cool they're they're so innovative um they make a phantom slider and and they really support they they support us and have supported us from the beginning and so we're really thankful for them and uh it's just been really fun to get to know other professionals in the industry and kind of lift each other up too mm -hmm. because we have all together so many resources for things like how do we get better reviews for our Google business mm -hmm. page? How do we elevate our website to the next level, get the best search engine optimization? How do we um, communicate to homeowners what a frameless shower door is and why it's different from whatever? So uh, we we are just all learning so much every day, every time we talk to each other. You should mention the vendor connection again too. Oh, the vendor yeah. connection. Okay, the vendor connection. So. It didn't start as uh, like a purchasing co-op or anything like that. Um, uh, most people are familiar with co-ops from like farming or um, other industries like Ace Hardware is a purchasing co-op, for example. And we are a cooperative, but um, and we do want to work with vendors, but we want to work with vendors and elevate 
how vendors innovate, help discuss with vendors what the needs of our customers are because it is such a custom industry and the needs are ever changing and evolving. You know, Kohler or Delta come out with a new color next year and we've got to have a hinge for it. And it's, you know, um, and it's so funny. We, we even spoke to a vendor like uh, Portals, for example, and we were, they came on our Facebook call and, and we were chatting with them and they, they were so sweet and we told them what we needed and they were like, wow, we wish we knew that last week, you know, you know, they were like, we can make that no problem, you know, and it's just that connection. We just have to have that communication and that, that streamlined communication and plug people in with the right vendors. For and them. vendors spend thousands of dollars launching a new product that they hope will be well received. You know, we'd love to help out with that and say, here's what sure. we're seeing. And I mean, because we both want to, vendors and the installers want to provide what the customer wants. We're, so it's the three prongs and yes. we want to bring it all together. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So, you know, you're, you're mentioning your vendors, many of whom are on the show floor. I have to ask, have you had an opportunity to walk around? What are some of the most exciting things that you've seen at Glass Build this year? I haven't had a lot of time to walk around. We just <laughs> had this morning. We actually um, hosted a hosted a tour at um, M3 Glass because mm -hmm. they're about twenty minutes away, so they're awesome. And uh, they've brought the turn it switching switchable glass that turns on and off from opaque to transparent. So that's a really, really cool um, product that they offer. It's been around for a little while, but I don't think it's been really honed in until recently. And they're some of the, the greatest people to do that. So that's one of them. M3 gave us a tour of their plant earlier today. So nice to be in Dallas and in some yes, of these vendors absolutely. hometowns, you can really see where it comes from and where it's made. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> yeah, um, I... I love to walk around and just say what's new because mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's the whole reason for the show. What can I bring back to my homeowners? What can I say is new and exciting mm -hmm. or what little piece of information can I keep in the back of my mind so that when the homeowner brings this situation, I can go, I know I've seen that over at the glass show. So I like to do the what's new with, with, all of the vendors so and of course me new vendors that i haven't worked with before so i i tend to explore end up with a bag of too much stuff <laughs> on the plane yeah. on the way back yeah you have to leave extra room in your suitcase for sure uh so how can people get involved we definitely are at a point where we need help so people can get involved by finding us on the facebook page shower door professionals that is an open well, it's a it's mostly open group for people to come in and get information, see what we're all about. And for even more information on the cooperative, um, go to showerdoorprofessionals.com. There's a lot of information there. Our membership group is listed there. Uh, our preferred vendors are listed there. Um, homeowners and other consumers can find information, contractors, builders. Um, they can find information about what we do, who we are, and uh, their local glass shop that they can recommend, or we recommend to them, rather. So. And when Christina said we need help, what she means is that a cooperative is for the members, by the members, everyone gets a vote. We need people to come in and be a part of saying, I need these resources. I think this is good. I think this is important. And really jump in and start building it because it's all about us doing what we see we need, not just sitting back and waiting for someone else to do it. So yeah, we so need, we want active members. Active members who so are gonna have committees <laughs> as, as we grow. And we're still small, but as we grow, we need photos. We want blog posts. We want things that represent the knowledge that we have and represent our um, yeah our work and show homeowners that we exist. And the more backlinks and links that we have and referral network that we have, the higher we show up on Google when people are looking for a shower work. Um, so that's that's why we're here. here. 
Wonderful. Well, and of course, you know, so many folks in your group have been uh, collaborators with the uh, National Glass Association and our technical teams putting together some uh, documents on the shower enclosure side, the design guide and uh, a few others. So, you know, of course, that that input it um, this collaboration across the industry, it can only make us all better. Um, and it's really exciting to see. So thank you so much uh, to both of you for being here. It's great to see you at the show. Um, uh, good luck with the co-op. Thank you. And uh, thank you all for listening. Uh, again, this is Glasscast at Glass Build America 2024. Our sponsors are North American Specialty Laminators, Shot. Becca and uh, the glass enclosure uh, system supplier and sponsor is Old Castle Building Envelope. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.